<laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is Monday, December 19th, and we are in Little Rock, Arkansas. And I didn't have anything particularly planned for when I got here. Uh, I was just passing through here on my way to Oklahoma City. Um, I don't have any particular plans in any of the cities I'm going to, but I routed this way on purpose so that I could drop down from Oklahoma City and go down through Dallas-Fort Worth and Austin to get down toward my sister's house in Houston. Um, so this is part of that process of getting there. But when I stop in each of the cities that I get to, whether I have a plan or not, I'm always looking for what's interesting to do there. What's this city known for? What should I go to expect? And the big thing in Little Rock, Arkansas, and those of you who pay better attention to politics than I do, would know that this is where President William Clinton was from. So Bill Clinton, Hillary Clinton as well, um, both big names in politics. This is This was their early stomping grounds early on in his political career when he was governor. Now, I knew who Clinton was as a president, but I really didn't know anything about, about him at all before he ran for president. And I tend to be of a more liberal bent. People, you'll figure that out. And so when I got here, the big thing that's here now after his legacy as governor and president um, is the, the Clinton Library. The Clinton Presidential Library is here. And it's a big to-do here in the city. And I understand where that comes from. Um, but I've never been to a presidential library for any president at all. So I don't even know like what to expect. I don't know what's at a presidential library or what the point of a presidential library is. Um, but this one's supposed to be situated on some really pretty grounds. It's got the whole library thing. Um, there's a bunch of other stuff going on at that location in town. And all of it's free, which is the price point I can presently afford. So... That's what we're up to today. We're going to go check out what is a presidential library? What is specifically the Clinton presidential library about? Um, what do those grounds look like? Um, so far, Arkansas has been really cool. Um, the, the big town, Little Rock, is so tiny <laughs> relative to, you know, I'm used to big cities like New York and Chicago and Boston. Um... And even in the scale of big cities, I'm also used to Cincinnati, Cleveland, Columbus in Ohio, and Indianapolis, um, which is nearby, and Pittsburgh, which is nearby. And those are all, I wouldn't call them like mega cities like New York and Chicago, but they're definitely big cities. For the Midwest, they're big cities. I'm here in, in Little Rock, Arkansas, and let me tell you, they're big city tiny <laughs> relative to what I'm used to. It's a tiny big city. I have nothing to compare it to because I've never really been to like Oklahoma, Nebraska, you know, any of those places. So on the scale of out in this part of the country, maybe Little Rock is huge. I don't know. Um, but in the scale of the Midwest, not so much. <laughs> so I will try and get a picture of the cityscape so that you guys can see that. Uh, but that's what we're up to today, and hopefully you guys will come along for the ride. All right, now I know I said that Little Rock, Arkansas was tiny um, compared to the cities I'm used to. I want you to get an idea of what I mean. I'm in a parking lot, and I'm super close to downtown, and here's the skyline. That's it. That is the sum total of Little Rock, Arkansas. OMG, so cute and so tiny. All right, folks, we have arrived at the William J. Clinton Presidential Center and Park. So let's drive in and see what we got. We are alongside a big river. <laughs> I'll find out what the river is and we'll take a picture, but there's a barge going down that river right now and it's a sizable barge, so. So here we go. Let's drive on up and we'll check it out and see what it's all about. University of Arkansas Clinton School of Public Service, the Clinton Museum Store, visitor parking and tour buses. So let's go to the visitor parking area, which is over here.
University of Arkansas Clinton School of Public Service. And as you can see, they've got all kinds of scooters for rent around here too. So that's a thing everywhere right now. Great. All right, so this is the visitor parking lot. And I'm not sure what all I'm expecting to see. So let's just drive around a little bit. School of Public Service. It has some festive Christmas things on the outside. We got a baseball signed by a bunch of people and a ball of vegetation. I, I don't know what the balls are about. So we're gonna have to find out what the balls are about because that's weird. <laughs> and there's a bunch of them over here too so we'll have to figure out what the balls are about and they are everywhere. Um, so that's a thing. And that bridge is important too. I haven't quite figured out what the importance of the bridge is yet, but we will figure that out. And I believe that's the library there on the far right. So, all right, well, we're gonna be doing some walking about outside and it's cold, but I will do my best. It is 39 degrees Fahrenheit here in Little Rock today. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> all right, I couldn't help myself downtown Little Rock, Arkansas. It's killing me. All right, so we are outside the, the School of Public Policy, I believe it is, and there's a sign here that talks about the Alexander George House. All right, the very last paragraph says, the, in 1900, the house was sold to the Choctaw, Oklahoma and Gulf Railroad Company, and from 1902 to 1964, it was occupied by the Rock Island Railroad. After 1964, it was no longer occupied and gradually deteriorated. It was demolished several years before the creation of the Clinton School of Public Service and the rehabilitation of the Choctaw Station. So, if I understand all that correctly, what we are looking at is a reconstruction and not the actual building. Now, the flip side of the sign tells the story of the building that we're looking at presently. It was constructed in 1899. The Choctaw Route Station served as a passenger depot for the Choctaw, Oklahoma and Gulf Railroad Company before becoming property of the Rock Island Railroad in 1902. The station served as a major passenger terminal on the Rock Island Line until the mid-1950s. The terminal building housed two waiting rooms, a baggage room, restaurant and dining room with a highly decorative terracotta frieze surrounding the second story. This turn-of-the-century railroad depot remains one of the finest examples of railroad architecture in Arkansas. Rock Island Railroad service along the Choctaw Route officially ended in 1967 and the station went on to house a restaurant, nightclub, and church until the mid-1990s. The area surrounding the Choctaw Station was a warehouse district in 1997 when President Clinton chose this site to construct the William J. Clinton Presidential Center and Park. The Clinton Center opened November 8, 2018, 2004, and the Choctaw Station became the headquarters of the William J. Clinton Foundation and home of the University of Arkansas Clinton School of Public Service, which offers the nation's first Master of Public Service degree. The Choctaw Station is called Sturgis Hall in recognition of a major renovation grant from the Roy and Christine Sturgis Trust. So there you go. Now you know why this building's here. Now I saw this when I first pulled in and I had to go, what the what? It's a ball of vegetables. So let's read the sign and find out why there's a wall of ball of vegetables here. It says, don't cook the planet. Uh, the piece is called Victory Garden and it's by the artist Lindsay Knight and it's supposed to represent um, the carbon footprint and greenhouse gases um, produced through growing, rearing, farming, processing, transporting, storing, cooking, and disposing of the food on your plate. So grow your own food, buy food grown closer to home, eat less meat and dairy, and limit food waste. Wow, that's, that's special. Just, just special in its own right. Now this one, baseball and what I'm starting to understand about these is that they're all called cool globes and you can kind of see that image right down there with the QR code and so these are all globes and if you look at the image right up close you can see the continents and the like on these and presumably under all the vegetation there's a continent on that one too I love the, look at the detailing on the stitches though. that's amazing anyway 
This one, we're all on the same team. It's a perfect game plan, and the artist is Tom Cicelli. Um, best alone, better together. And this has to do with switching to LED light bulbs, recycle, conserve water. What position will you play as we all work to protect our planet? So I bet there's more of these globes all over the ground, and I will have to show them to you because they're kind of cool. So this is the exhibit going on today, exploring the unfinished business of the 21st century, women's voices, women's votes, women's rights. And it's running through April 30th of 2023, so that's what I expect to see when we go inside. Now all over this area are these clear glass signs, and I haven't taken photographs of them because they're really hard to kind of check out. Well, let me see if I can get this one on camera. This one's just the Rock Island Railroad emblem. And hopefully you can see that. Not sure how well that's going to render. Um, but most of them have quotes from various people. And I'll see if I can pull those quotes up later and show them to you. But this is talking about the Clinton Presidential Park Bridge. And that's that, that big bridge there that I told you we would check out. Um, if I read correctly, you can ride across that or walk across that. And it's a little cold for it today. Um, if it warms up later in the day, maybe I'll come back and we'll try it then. Just wanted to catch this little detail. Right down there. As I was walking up, I could not remember which President Clinton was in order, and I think that 42 is letting me know he was the 42nd President. I'll double check that. Now the building that they let the public tour is this building over here. But you can see how it's connected by this hallway. And this hallway goes back to this building here, and this is where the presidential archives largely reside at. Um, the personal correspondence is stored in a ton of boxes in this building, but other presidential records related to Clinton's time in office are back here in the archives. Yeah.